Michigama. For over 100 years, the University of Michigan Senior Honor Society met every week as Michigama. Now it is known as the Order of Angel. Few student groups have had such a long legacy, been so influential, nor so controversial. After a decade of change, its members tell their story for the first time. Two thousand was the perfect storm. The top floors of the Michigan Union had become a circus. A group had broken into the tower, specifically our den, our meeting space. The spectacle that was displayed with artifacts from the native community on the table it was it entirely fabricated. So we're going to take this time real quick to show you what we saw when we came in the room and how the room looked um, prior to us setting things up like this. No, those things were not in the room. Period. This is one of the dark moments in my memory of Michigan. What does the administration do? The administration effectively does nothing. The administration has skirted around the issue. I don't have the ability to do what you think I have the ability to do. We wanted to dialogue with them to understand what their concerns were. We extended an invitation time and time again. But I didn't think that hearing their side of the story was productive or effective or even necessary. This became a campaign against individuals. Underneath the surface that they had remained a racist and um, culturally destructive organization. There were analogies being made that we were along the lines of the KKK, that we were along the lines of Nazis. Michigama is not what these individuals are saying it is. Where the group is falling short is communicating who we are and what we do. I think we're, we're built on leadership. What binds us from year to year is the leadership. It's about Michigan and what we can do to make Mi Michigan a better place. We're trying to give back without getting recognition. At the same time, people are wondering what we are doing, and it creates that controversy. You have to make that decision yourself on what you want to believe and what you don't want to believe. The only thing the university has done is to create a panel to discuss the question of office space. At its core, what this occupation was about was power. And if that tower takeover was just one small 30-day period where we got to have a voice for a little while, then so be it. It was brilliant. The SEC orchestrated a brilliant fraud. Really, we're going down a slippery slope, and I think it's, it's very dangerous for a campus like ours. Looking at American history, the Native Americans have a really sad and painful story. The name itself, Michigama, is so difficult, particularly for Native people, because it's so difficult to explain how painful it is. You can't tell a group of people that that shouldn't offend you. And then we all can look at them in the eyes and say, yes, this is the way our organization feels. What can we do and what are we responsible to do? It's changing the name of an organization that's been around for 105 years isn't easy. In the end, we made the right decision, uh, the right decision for Michigan. It's really the same organization at the core and it's the same beliefs, the same basic values. I highly doubt that it's come away from that same sort of tokenization. We've gone from legitimate issues with the group to really an attack on the existence of the group. I believe everyone who's told me what happened in that tower. The whole thing was very well orchestrated and well in advance. That, that story has never come out. 